Hi and uh, welcome back YouTubers to a series I'm doing called Getting the Most Out of Your Traxxas T-Max. Today we're just going to demonstrate how we can use the functions that we've added in the other series, one of them being the remote start uh, and the remote stop. We've also added an extra fuel tank. Uh, so today we're just going to demonstrate how we're going to use our three channel Traxxas um, transmitter. Uh, to start and to stop the T-Max. We also added a cutout switch just here. Um, it isn't necessary to stop the vehicle, but it does make it a bit easier because you can manipulate the stopping of the T-Max by just centering this toggle switch here, and that also stops the T-Max. So um, I'll start up the, the T-Max now uh, using the throttle trim and the brake. I'll run it around a little bit, stop it, start it, stop it, and you'll get an idea of uh, just how it works. Okay, so to start the T-Max, you turn the throttle trim all the way down to the bottom, like so, and then you brake. And that starts it. Run it around a bit. To stop it, just push the cutout switch like so. And that stops it. Very cool. And of course to start it once again, throttle trim down to the bottom like so, and brake. And away it goes. Race around a bit. I'll stop it this time using the toggle switch. I'll center it now. Centering it, it stops it. So you don't want to put it in the toggle, uh, the the cutout switch. You can use the toggle. You just need to center it to do that. I just put in the cutout switch just because it makes it a little bit easier to do that. There's no balancing act trying to center the toggle switch. So that's it. Your remote starting, uh, your remote stopping. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and of course, by adding the the remote stop system. Uh, to the T-Max, it doesn't affect the the reverse gear uh, in any way. You can still operate that as normal. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the uh, the modifications and the demonstrations. Until next time, have a great day. Bye for now.